yo what's up guys what's going on this is ns jokes you're welcome once again to my youtube channel i'm so excited to share yet another video with you so in today's video i'm going to teach you how to add a domain to namecheap shared hosting subscription so go over to namecheap shared hosting plans and you can see their plans so for one for 188 per month you can host up to three websites and then for 298 per month you can host unlimited number of websites and also for 498 per month you can host up to unlimited number of websites so that being said if you have any challenges whatsoever in between this video and you need more clarity you can leave them for me down in the comment section below if you find this video very helpful please give it a thumbs up and i really really appreciate that and also please subscribe to my youtube channel and turn on the notification because that's the only way i get to grow the channel and you get to see my videos whenever i upload new videos so without wasting so much of our time let's get started with this video so all you have to do is go over to namecheap you know sign up if you are new to namecheap sign up and then you know just purchase any of these plans and a domain along it so let's say you want to connect a domain name to the any of the shared hosting plans right here you can see with the with the list plan you can host up to three websites so that's that's good enough and then namecheap these days is getting really really popular and just that these days you know they have got more policies than before but they are really good they are also they are still good so i still use them so this is the domain name that i'm trying to connect to this shared hosting you know account so this is also the same account i just got it ready so so we can just do the video straightforward you know this is my this is my web design agency this is my website so um and this is the domain name right now it doesn't have any hosting plan so this is just a domain name but forget about this badge the domain name is about to expire very soon i think i have to renew it so if you're doing yours you probably not have this renew here so you just have a button that says manage but in this my case i have this stuff and i have this drop down here so if i drop it down and i see the manage button so i just click on the manage button and we we'll move from there okay okay it's loading fine okay you can see the you can see the domain here in speech readers all right then just scroll down to name servers right here you can see name servers right here so click on this to drop down the options and just select namecheap web hosting dns namecheap web hosting dns so you can see this icon just click on it to save the settings and then that is all we have to do with this that's all we have to do with this the next step for you to go over to the hosting plan that you want to use you know so this is the hosting plan i want to use right here so just click just click on go to c panel just go over to c panel and then we'll do the rest of the work here okay 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 c panel now c panel is loaded just go back to the domain tab we can actually really just type add-on here because we're just looking for the add-on domain so just this is the add-on domain just click on the add-on domain to open it up and then just type your domain name here in my case this is speechreaders.com okay speechreaders.com so if you are done typing the domain name just hit the tab button just hit the tab button you see what happened okay now automatically it filled here and here for us so that's all we have to do we don't have to do any other thing so the next thing is just to click on the add domain button here and then it will stay for a while it will take a few minutes for it to load up so this this has loaded and um, you can see the add-on domain speechreaders.com has been created if you would like to manage the files for this domain you can do this okay this is the file manager link and you can also see the third one enabling https so one good thing about namecheap is that for every domain they have a free positive ssl installation for it so it is really that's why i really really love using namecheap so for this if you take somewhere around 20 to 30 minutes you just give some time but for now if you load up the website if you open up the website it will open but it will not be secure because the https is still processing so let me just load up speechreaders.com okay 
here yeah yeah we're able to open the website so we have freely hosted it you know that you cannot open an ordinary domain in the browser but for now we have hosted it and you can see it is not secure yet because the https is still in progress i mean the installation of the um ssl positive ssl is still in progress so just click here that says go back and guys that is all we have to do so maybe you want to use wordpress for a website or you want to use any other stuff for a website so just scroll down for example you want to use wordpress just go over to wordpress and then you can start working on your website so that's it so just go back to install 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 now here you can just choose the domain you can see the speech readers right here just choose the speech readers you can now install wordpress on the speech readers and you start working so your website will be live asap so guys so guys with that said thank you very much for watching this video till the end if you really enjoyed the video please consider hitting the like button just give me a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification to get notified whenever i drop a new video so with that said that will be a goodbye for now i'll catch you guys in the next video goodbye